Hello and welcome to Fountain FX on Friday the 16th of January 2015. It's the end of a very interesting week, especially as the Swiss bank decided to destabilise the euro and uh, a lot of brokers with it in uh, no longer uh, pegging its currency to that of the euro. Uh, it obviously was costing it a lot of money to continue to maintain its value within a range of the euro value. Now, if we, um, the thing that's come from it is that there's a lot of brokers out there that have been destabilized by this. Uh, particularly if we look at this uh, article here, if we scroll down, it's talking about, oh, bad, 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 bad. De Deutsche Bank seems to be okay. IB, Interactive Brokers, have worked with them. They've got over $4 billion worth of capitalization. Gain Capital, I also work with them. They've got a you know, 600, 700 million, so that's typically okay. The key thing here, though, is that Alpari is gone. Um, CMC in London says they're okay. Trade Station says they're okay. AAA Forex says they're okay. However, um, FXCM, which is an American broker, they are now minus $225 million in their accounts. So they're they're basically their their shares have collapsed, so plunged 88% on the day, which is incredible. FXCM, um, they've stopped trading, so hence that's why you're showing this now. But um, uh, New Zealand's global brokers, New Zealand said uh, basically that's they've gone bust, and Alpari has gone bust, forced into insolvency. The challenge with that is that obviously if you've got funds in there and they haven't allocated your funds se separate from their uh, organization as a business then you can't access your money and get it out and you've lost it so that is one thing you need to make sure that your broker does actually um, isolate your funds yes you you put in your money with a broker but your funds are isolated I know that with CM trading um, you deposit in South Africa into Nedbank Nedbank are actually holding your money not CM trading okay and they mirror your trades into the open market with the large um, currency brokers out there the likes of HSBC and uh, JP Morgan and so on and so forth um, Charles Schwab um, etc so uh, they're not necessarily running a trading desk against your particular trades so anyway uh, it looks like FXCM has been exposed in all of this and uh, which is not particularly good. At the, prior to this, I was under the impression that they were actually a good broker. But anyway, so that's the bad news. What's the good news in all of this? Well, the good news in all of this is that it's going to provide you with fantastic opportunities. So let's just go over to the markets and show you the graphs and take a look. So when we flick over and look at the Euro Swiss franc on the one hour chart, we can see exactly what's happened here, this massive move. If you look before, you can't really see it. It looks like a dotted line at the top. That's how small the currency used to move against the Swiss franc. Um, literally, we're talking four to six points move in an hour, and it never seemed to get more than that range. So I suppose if you're trading with very very large sums of money and you know that it's literally not going to move more than six points you can make some kind of profit from that and it's these kind of guys that have been caught out as this has collapsed based on the Swiss uh, bank releasing the news that it kept quiet from everybody else including the international uh, bank so therefore this is the reason why there's banks and there's brokers that have been caught totally on the wrong side I mean to for FXCM to go from uh, 800 million dollars worth of capitalization to minus 225 million dollars overnight shows you how much these brokers were exposed on the Swiss franc me on the other hand I don't trade it so I don't really care which sounds like a hard thing to say but um, I'm not involved in this if we look at the, the US dollar against the Swiss franc as well we can see how badly that moved uh, that went to 2,800 points. The, the euro against the Swiss franc moved 3,500 points. So massive, massive moves in the space of an hour. Now, does this mean it's really bad for anyone trading Forex and we should all run for the hills and get out of it? The answer is no. Um, the main thing when you're trading is that you don't expose your um, K 
capital to the risks that these traders who've gone bust have exposed themselves to. You don't turn around and risk 50% or 10% of your account on any one trade. Um, you know, you need to look at what your exposure is on the trades that you're actually running at the moment. If any of you have got trades that are open, I suggest you start to either close them or start to scale back uh, in the hope that you will be able to see some uh, clarity from this when it when Monday comes around. But certainly I think the biggest um, issue, the biggest hiccup happened on Thursday with the news that came out. Because if you look, price, I mean, all right, here on the... Um, US dollar Swiss franc prices actually started to move, which is which is really what you want it to do. So, are there any opportunities off this? Is it all just doom and gloom? Is it terrible? Well, the answer is there's loads of opportunities. The key opportunities are going to be in the euro US dollar and in the euro yen, etc., etc. Well, euro US dollar, the US dollar is quite strong. The euro is selling off. I've made some nice money on it. I sold off from here. Uh, it collapsed over 100 points which is very nice in one day. Um, so we're starting to get some movements. So you need to be looking for areas of low volatility, moving into high volatility, as I always talk about, and take the trades. But typically you're going to be seeing that you should expect to see the euro short because it's no longer got its Swiss franc uh, brother to hold it up. Uh, in contrast, what's happened today slightly differently is on the euro yen is that yesterday all the volatility came out. We saw the euro sell off. Uh, especially overnight with the yen etc and then uh, this morning early this morning we start to see a rally price pulled back up but back into an area of resistance only to sell off again so um, look for opportunities and here we can see that, the, that with the New York session it's rallied back up again but that's because people are taking profits and trying to close out their risk and minimize their risk over the weekend now so that's why that that happens a um, couple of things to note uh, good good position now at the moment is that in times of panic in times of fear where do people go go to and place their money gold so gold is now rallying if you look at this in the, the space of only two days with all this stuff going on gold has rallied fifty dollars it's moved up fifty dollars that's five thousand points in two days so just think about the profitability that you can gain from that and it was a very nice trade today we saw this i pulled back and look it broke and it went and if you consider where it went from it's rallied a good 18 dollars from this break so that's a hundred and that's 118 dollars yeah that's uh 1800 points so um that's it from fountain fx there's opportunities you don't have to be scared you don't have to panic if you know what you're doing, you can take advantage of it. So all the very best, and we will catch you on Monday. Bye-bye.